Not every day we find something like this. 10,225 pounds, an Eagle 330 RSTS, literally never used, coming to us for sale here at Haylet RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. Now, I know that if I were looking at something like this and I saw a never used giant travel trailer like this, I would be immediately going, okay, sounds cool, but red flag, why was it never used and why are they asking Halet RV to sell it for them on consignment, which is what it's doing here. We're selling it for the actual owners. But don't let that mess your head up, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, uh, trades or RV financing, give us a call because we still do it all down here at Halet RV Brokers. Um, you go, why is it here? Well. It's not because there's problems with it. It's not because it's damaged or anything like that. It's not because they had service issues. Um, in short, previous owners have been multi, multi-time Halet RV customers. And um, they had before, well, let's see. They've had six or seven different RVs from us over the years, whether it's diesel pushers, 26-foot toy haulers. Before this, a 40-foot Jayco Pinnacle luxury fifth wheel. And they, they got a little aged and said, hey, look, we don't want to go up and down fifth wheel stairs anymore. What's the closest thing to a pinnacle you can get in a travel trailer? We said, well, that would be an eagle because there's just really no comparison. Eagles are just largely in a class all of their own. And uh, the folks said, hey, we agree. We love it. It's everything that we liked about our pinnacle, just all on one flat deck. And they were going to basically like take it to Florida and leave it there. And then, unfortunately, a member of the house suffered uh, some damage to their, their knee not the trailer, but their knee blew out, and they had to go through some medical stuff and some rehab. And after that, they just kind of went, you know, maybe, maybe it's just not meant to be. And they asked us to find a home for it for them. So this is a chance to take home a brand, basically, guys, a brand new trailer with upgrades. They added slide-out awning covers. They added more ride zero gravity stable steps. They added a hitch to this that you're going to get included with it. And you're going to get it at a used price tag. It's a pretty good deal for you folks. It's unfortunate for the previous folks. And, you know, it's bittersweet for us because we have an awesome listing here for you guys. But, you know, unfortunately, some very good friends of ours are just not able to enjoy it as they had planned. So, um, you know, it's very close to the most current generation of Eagle. You can see we've obviously got the modern farmhouse decor here. That is a tri-fold sleeper sofa in the back. There's household and USB plugs on either side of that. You can see over here the uh, you know uh, reclining wall hug and theater seats directly across from the entertainment center, which the TV can pivot out for easy viewing. Dual 30, uh, well, no, I'm sorry, no, a 30,000 BTU air system, which means dual 15K units. We are whisk productive back here in the living room where we spend most of our time. So, you know, if you don't see the square, you won't hear the air. I think that's one of literally the original Halo RV nerdisms. You'll see that all of the windows are all framed out. They all open for some awesome, awesome airflow as well. Um, all of the original electronics, components, there's nothing from the factory that isn't here. There's just extra equipment on this that wasn't applied at the factory that the folks paid to have added to this that I think you're going to enjoy. Now, Eagles are an uncommon breed of travel trailer. It is a true what I call flat deck fifth wheel. That is a seven foot three inch interior. That's nine inches taller than industry standard. And that allows for taller six and a half foot walk-in slide outs like a fifth wheel. Larger slides to accommodate a larger refrigerator like a fifth wheel. Like I said, they had um, destination park plans in mind, which is why you see a residential fridge here. Because if you follow a lot of our Halo videos, you know that we don't usually see a lot of these through our facility under specific circumstances like this, a trailer that tends to be parked more often than not and used like seasonally is perfect. Now, what's also nice is this thing has some serious storage capacity. If we come over here into the kitchen and uh, crack that stuff open and take a look, you can see that within that uh, motion lit pantry, there are removable shelves so that you can really customize your storage solutions as well as down here, those drawers, they are all soft close, uh, like residential soft close drawers, which is just a really, really nice thing. All solid surface countertops through here. Um, the uh, high rise sprayer faucet doing us a heck of a job. And actually, if I pivot around here and give you a little bit better look, and if we open all that up again, once again, you can see how there's a uh, waste basket already included in there. There's a shelf next to that so that you have a space to keep your, uh, you know, laundry soaps and, or not laundry, dish soaps and everything separate. 
drawer right here in the island and then as we work our way up uh, over that solid surface counter we've got ourselves a pop-up power tower cutting board and roll away dish drying rack sink covers above a stainless sink are really nice that is a larger 22 inch oven by the way not a smaller 16 but we're not done when we come over here to this front wall if we uh take a look and open that up we see that it just has a ton of additional pantry storage space in there as well now this extra tall cabinet on the right hand side of our frame right now it has a really cool thing in it called the Mervin shelf which is not something you're ever going to see on a diagram I only know the name of it because I know the people that build these really well and I know that backstory behind it some people want extra pantry space some people want a coat closet so they just created a little folding shelf with a little bullet latch to keep it locked up in place it's it's very cool it's simple but it's brilliant this is a huge nice like um coffee maker corner over here there's household and usb outlets all over the place on this thing then as we work our way around right by the entry door a couple things um our main cabin kind of light switches whoops i'm kicking that moride stable step job um they're on a nice little touch sensor but if i touch and hold they actually dim down and they have positional memory that's really nice to dim the lights at night to leave them dimmed in the morning and then bring them up sometime during the day and you actually have the same function on that island right there we have uh you know switches for our master control panel which is nice but for things like our power jack slides awnings exterior lighting there's a handy little wireless remote control for that as well the rv is prepped and ready for roof solar and this is where you could mount a charge controller mart <laughs> that's a combination of mount and charge <laughs> i think that uh that's why, that's why I call it my uh, definitionary. Now here in the bathroom, we got our main cabin lights. I'm gonna turn that back off so the rest are easier to see. We have a backlit morning mirror and then above the shower, we have ourselves a little night light. Then we kick them all on and it's nice and bright in here. Now while we're, remember this is a seven foot three tall camper. So this never used shower, cause remember guys, it was never used. The sinks, the shower, the toilet, none of this stuff was ever used. There's some serious value to all this here. Porcelain foot flush. And then um, if we uh, open all that cabinetry and take a look in there, you can see that even here in the bathroom, below that sealed edge press membrane countertop, we've got some great storage. Even as we work our way up through the um, kind of medicine cabinet over here, and with this being so tall, that's a huge, huge cabinet space. But before we leave, I want to point this guy out. If you First of all, look at how tall it is in here because that's how thick uh the, the roof of this eagle is and that's one of the reasons this is uh especially the year it was built one of the very few travel trailers actually proven zero to like over 100 degrees uh capable and functional but this vent fan right here it it doesn't require like an extra cover on the roof it's already kind of rainproofed, and you'll see that more as we go but long story short if it's a rainy day and you want to turn that fan on to get some airflow you very easily can now moving up here into the master bedroom a few things this was built with an optional 70 by 80 king bed just like a big fifth wheel because this is again what we're going to call a flat deck fifth wheel if i take a step back and we take a look with our x-ray goggles you can see that there is full easy lift storage below that as well as we work our way up top you've got a set of either viewing lights or nighttime reading lights they're dual element blue white lights and the second factory air conditioner was installed in this to give it again two 15,000 BTU central air units for a total of 30,000 BTUs of cooling power. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Another thing that makes this more what I call a flat deck fifth wheel than a common travel trailer is the fact that it is uh, ready for a washer dryer combo in that cabinet over there. But we still have more storage in the way of this big six drawer dresser array right here and if you are so inclined above that egress breeze through window you do have tv hookups up here on the uh, uh the wall and with this having um you know plenty of headspace here you can have yourself a pretty big easy to view screen and if you get a mount that angles down toward your head a little bit it's gonna be very comfortable for nighttime viewing beautiful day today but in the words of donna summer it is a hot one baby now <laughs> back to the task at hand you can see dual power awnings both of which have full led lighting running along the base of them uh that is something that we uh we added the second awning on this from the factory level when uh you know we built it originally here uh well down the street at halet rv and it just gives you tons tons 
of uh, you know shaded patio space. If you look up between those awning arms, though, you see the slide-out awnings. That was not done from the factory. That we did at the behest of the previous owners. Um, and uh, you know, triple slide-out awnings added to something like this. That is no cheap endeavor. They never got used. This RV was, remember, after they took it home, it was parked in a barn, and then unfortunately, shortly immediately after, the folks just hurt themselves and were never able to use the RV. It had nothing to do with the RV whatsoever. They were going down some steps in their house, is my understanding. Now down here, this is another good indicator of the type of people who owned this RV, despite the fact they never got to use it. So if you look, this was built before stable steps were standard on one of these big eagles. However, it's obviously stable step capable. Previous owners said, man, I really, really like those. And we're getting away from the big fifth wheel to go to a trailer and anything I can do to make going in and out would be easier, uh, would be great. So uh, they, they had us install a, a nice set of Moride stable steps, but the zero gravity variety with the uh, uh, upgraded piston basically. And then they also had us add the handle so that you've always got something to hold on to going in and out. They had us do everything with it similarly You'll see a little bit of it in the pass-through and a little bit of it sitting just in the front here. You see the hitch bars here. Previous owners, you know, don't have need for a hitch anymore since they are no longer going to be in possession of a travel trailer. So the hitching appropriate for an RV of this size also to be included with the sale of this camper. So they bought it, stored it in a barn, basically like a time capsule, but not before asking us to add triple slide awnings zero-g stable steps with the handy handy rail there and um hitching all that included at the uh the folks asking price which you know that's that's a lot you're getting extras and upgrades that weren't from the factory level on this for less than the price of a brand new one it's a pretty sweet deal guys um the uh corner jacks it's it's all power jacks nothing is manual on this whatsoever uh, underbelly, enclosed, heated, insula ins insulated, <laughs> insulated. Once again, Eagles being one of the very few travel trailers that are like zero to 100 degree proven, um, or, or better actually. Let me get up here a little bit, show you a couple things, kind of where all the hookups and everything are, just to kind of give you an idea. Because a big coach like this, a lot of times people have a specific campsite in mind. I just want to give you an idea where everything's placed. Goodyear Endurance Radials with there's 200 miles on them. If that, I'll be I'll be impressed. I mean, <laughs> you know, there's just there's just no use to this thing down here. I'm at kind of a funky angle here. I'm gonna have to get a little bit close because we're parked a little bit next to on the hot day. I'll call her the burning bush. But uh, just to give you an idea, there's no damage, there's no scratches, there's no defects here. I want you to get, see a nice 360 wrap around ever. Down below, you'll see a couple things. There's a 300 pound rated accessory hitch included on this. And this was the last generation of these that still had a tubular bumper and a receiver hitch instead of one or the other. Like today's world, you have a receiver hitch but no bumper on these. There's also a gas grill quick connect down there. Something you're not overtly seeing though is the J Smart lighting package. And that stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. In short, when most RVs, like if you flip on your right hand turn signal, most RVs, only that tail light's going to blink. But on this Eagle, all of the lights down this side of the RV are going to blink, plus some additional lights at the top here are going to blink so that other people can see what you're doing. Then, if you shift into reverse, above the backup camera prep and um, inside the tail lights, there are bright white elements to ignite so that you can see what you're doing in the evening hours or your spotter. Um, previous owners did have a backup camera on it. They did decide to keep that. I think they may hopefully intend to return to RVing at some point, so they did keep the, uh, the camera but let everything else go that they applied to this camper. Um, the good news is, it's they're all pretty much the same. Any Fury on camera, just pop it right up in there and you're good to go. Now, right before we hop upstairs so you can see the roof, I just want to make a quick mention because I don't think I talked about it much inside. I talked about a ton of windows and opening for breeze, but consider their positioning. The windows of this RV are focused on your campsite. They're not looking at the neighbors, so you don't have to stare at someone else's trailer the whole time. You actually get to enjoy your sight. And coming as a surprise to no one, most likely, the roof looks basically brand new because it's, again, been stored in a barn since the day they first took it home from Haywood RV. That right there is that bathroom vent I was telling you about. It doesn't need to be cranked open for airflow. The, it actually sucks air up from the fins below, although you can close those. And right there is our roof solar prep, so if you want, 
you've got room in the front, you've got room on that side of the air conditioner, and you've got just a whole canvas load of stuff over here. And it occurs to me I probably shouldn't be walking backwards on a uh, RV roof without looking behind me. And apologies for our dust a little bit here. We are double or tripling the size of Haywood RV Brokers down here. And, uh, you know, it comes with uh, a little bit of construction dust. So we're getting there. But short of that, guys, whether it's Haywood RV down the street or Haywood RV Brokers here, give us a call because we do it all. Like I said, from hitching pieces, parts, trades, and financing, we got it. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.